Hi guys and welcome back to another Skylanders video. Uh, so this one's going to follow on from the uh, summon guide that I put out a few days ago. Um, and it's kind of, uh, well, thanks to comments from you guys, we've been able to uh, put together this new video for a more efficient way to summon light and dark Skylanders. So here we are on the summon page. So the same things apply from the previous video and that is that you can only get light and dark Skylanders from the premium summons. And also it's still going to cost five summons to actually acquire that light and dark Skylander. Uh, whichever route you go to so before i was saying five times summons is the only way you can get the light and dark skylanders because they're only props from the fifth portal um you can get it from the one time summons you just keep summoning while you're in the one time summon area and we'll go into that in a little bit uh, but first of all what are the benefits between uh, both of these um mainly sometimes five is just generally quicker there's no change to drop rates for your for your normal legendaries and heroics and stuff um so yeah, if you just got loads of gems to burn through, it's just easier to go through the five times summon. Um, and that's the benefit of that convenience. Um, whereas if we go for the one time summon, uh, there's going to be like two main benefits for going for the one time summon. First of all, that is going to be uh, super boost, targeted super boost. So if you're low on resources, you're maybe a free to play player and you want to kind of um, get some more super boost for the Skylanders that you're using, uh, using the one time summon is a great way to kind of uh, try and get some specific super boosts. Uh, you can click that one time summon, you can get four portals that appear with randomly ro rolled elements and you can just target the elements for the Skylanders that you want to try and super boost and see if you get lucky there. And then you can just exit out and go back in and try it all again. That's going to be a nice way to try and target some super boosts. And the other main benefit is the reason for this video and that's a more efficient way to farm those light and dark skylanders and what we're doing with this essentially when we go in there it's going to pop the four portals with random elements but once you've uh, summoned skylanders from the fourth portal from all four portals then it's going to unlock the fifth portal and roll the element on there without you having to purchase it so you can see what it's going to be you can see if it's going to be a light or a dark portal um you know, if you don't get your proc, then you just exit out uh, and then you haven't wasted that fifth uh, summon. And then you just uh, keep going in there, doing those four summons until you finally get your light and dark portal. And and this is not, it's not going to like save you any resources because it's resources you're going to be spending probably in here anyway. But it's going to increase your chances of getting light and dark portal by reducing the number of summons it takes to to get to that light and dark proc. So yeah, just a, just a word of warning though. So once you do click that one time summon, I was just making sure you've got enough uh, resources to summon for a maximum of five times, just so you can get that summon. And also be wary of the exit button, which appears after you s activate your first Skylander. Because uh, if you exit out of that screen, you can't get back into it and you've got to start the process again. Uh, so just be aware of that. Same as if you don't have enough resources to summon. I, I, I do believe... Um, I don't know if you can get some more while you're in there, but if you don't have enough, you may need to exit there, uh, exit that screen again, and you'll have to start the process again. So it'd be kind of shitty if you got like four summons, a light and dark proc team, you didn't have enough uh, resources to summon that <laughs> that last portal. So just, uh, just make sure you got enough before you go in there, if you're going for the light and dark summons. Uh, but those are the benefits. One thing I, you know, something I should have mentioned in the other video, you know, if you just don't really care, if you got loads of resources, you got loads of summons just and you're happy just go for i go for the five times summons because it's easier for me it's much quicker and i don't really mind what i get i want to collect everything so eventually i'm gonna get everything if i just keep, keep clicking that five times summon anyway but yeah definitely some benefits for the one time summon who knows i might even use that in the future uh so let's go into it so this is just gonna bring up the gates <clears throat> now um when you select the one time summon it's going to pop four gates. These four gates are going to have the, the elements already rolled on them. And you can kind of like target that element to try and get some super boost out of it. Try and pop a heroic or a legendary. So let's just do that. But we're going to be end up getting these anyway because we're going for light and dark Skylanders. So for us, it's not going to matter which ones we choose. Um, <clears throat> so let's pop these ones as well. Um, yeah, once we summon our fourth... Skylander from the from the fourth portal. It's going to unlock the the fifth portal. And we got magic. 
So that's where the roll is going to come in. So you can uh, take these steps up to this far and kind of see if it rolls a light and dark um, portal. Um, but yeah, normally with a five times summon, it will just do all those five summons, take away the resources for them. But individually, if we're doing the one time summons, we can get these four out of the way and see what uh, see what element rolls in the middle uh, on the fifth portal. We've got magic. It's not light and dark. We can just exit this and start again. We're going to end that summon. Ah, okay. So we didn't get lucky there. But yeah, there you go. So like this way, this way of doing it, uh, just increases your chances for those light and dark Skylanders. You get a f you get more rolls than you would if you were doing the five times summon for the light and dark rocks. Um, and also, if you're looking for those super boosts, then you can target them individually on the on the elemental gates. So two very good reasons uh, why to do the one time summon over the five time summon. I'm going to leave a link to the previous video down in the description as well. If you wanted to check that one out. Once again, thanks very much for the comments. Uh, but anyway, guys, hope this video helped you out. If it, if it did, then please leave a, a like, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that notification bell. And hopefully I'll see you guys in a future video. Take care, guys. I'm out. Laters. <laughs> Happy summoning, guys.